So why do we sneeze? A paper came out recently suggesting that a sneeze is a sort of reboot for your nose, a process that many people were touting as the blue screen of death for your olfactory system. Now the actual paper that came out, Molecular Modulation of Airway Epithelial Ciliary Response to Sneezing, was looking to see how the force of a sneeze acted on things called cilia. So cilia are organelles found in some of your cells that look like lots of little tiny hairs under a microscope. So some cilia are just used for sensing, but others can actually move and they can beat in coordinated waves. Much of your respiratory system is covered in this sort of motile cilia, and their beating helps to move things like dust and mucus up and out of your lungs. Fun fact! So cilia is Latin for eyelash, which makes me think that my esophagus is covered in lots of tiny little eyelashes, which is just silly. Uh. Pun! So scientists found that the sneeze actually kicked these cilia into high gear, increasing their ciliary beat frequency by 150%. So cool. A sneeze makes your cilia kick stuff out of your lungs faster. Which is great, but it doesn't answer my initial question of why we actually sneeze. What causes the sneeze in the first place? So I did not know this when I started looking into it, but it turns out it's your trigeminal nerve again. The same nerve responsible for brain freezes. That nerve is just all up in your face. So this is going to sound a little familiar. Foreign particles, like dust, pollen, or pepper, get up inside your nose and irritate your nasal mucosa, the lining of your nose. So this triggers the release of histamines, and if you have ever suffered from allergies, you know that histamines are the organic compounds that trigger the inflammatory response. Redness, itchiness, and swelling. These histamines irritate the nerve cells in your nose, and they send that message through the trigeminal nerve up to your brain. In response, your brain activates muscles in your pharynx and trachea, and opens your nasal and oral cavities, resulting in a powerful release of air and snot. Other things can trigger sneezes too. Some people actually sneeze in response to bright lights, a condition known as photic sneeze reflex. And when I say some people, some estimates are as high as 35% of the population. It's even referenced in a Motion City soundtrack song. That one right there. And just like the brain freeze, scientists think this might also be another oops on the part of the trigeminal nerve. So your optic nerve gets irritated by the bright lights and sends that message to your brain, but instead of your brain responding to the right portion of your face, it thinks that the uncomfortable stimulus is coming from your nose, one of the areas served by the trigeminal nerve, and you sneeze. You show those lights. You sneeze at them. So this is one of my favorite things about science, is that before looking into this, I had no idea that brain freezes and sneezes were at all related. But with a little bit of investigation, we linked them together. With biology. Go forth. Do science.